Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my top 10 necessary items for summer. These are items that I just, I can't live without for the summer. I have to have them with me. They make life so much easier and better and just all around perfect. So if you want to see the items that I have to have during summer, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with makeup and then move into skincare and then lifestyle stuff, if that makes sense. So, uh, the first item, you know when you put on a full face makeup and you're looking good and you got your mascara going and it's just, you're looking good and then you go out and you know, you're outside, you're going to maybe a theme park or the zoo or wherever. Maybe you're just going shopping. And then you get home, and you look at yourself, and you realize your entire brow bone is just black. I hate that. <laughs> that drives me crazy. Because then I'm sitting there thinking, at what point during the day did this happen? And I just started looking crazy. There's a very obvious solution to that. And that is getting a waterproof mascara. And what I have here is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, just in the waterproof version. It's great mascara. I love it. And it does the job. I don't end up looking crazy on my eyes by the end of the day. So, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a waterproof, waterproof mascara. And your sweaty face won't go rubbing your mascara all over the place, you know? So, my next item. During the summer, I just can't be bothered dealing with a matte liquid lipstick. Chilling on my lips, getting all dry, getting all crusty. Driving me crazy. So I don't. I go in with a lip gloss. It's all I put on my lips pretty much all summer long. Um, the one I have here is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. I also really enjoy the NARS Velvet Lip Glides. These are fantastic. They're a little bit creamier. They're going to give you more pigment, but they're not matte and they're not really a gloss either. So depending on your preference, these two are great options if you're not in the mood to deal with a whole bunch of stuff on your lips all the time. So my last makeup type item is this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe and rose water. This stuff is so good. Not only can you use this to set your makeup, but you can also just use it to like revive your face if you know it's been a long day and it makes it starting to get a little crusty or a little bleh. I like to spray this on and it just kind of like brings everything back to life. I also like to spray this on my face when I'm not wearing any makeup. This spray just like has this really like calming, cooling, nice feeling about it that even when I'm not wearing makeup, it just kind of like, I don't know, it revives my face and just, it's great after a hot day in the sun. So my next three products kind of like go hand in hand. Um, to start off with, no matter what you're doing this summer, no matter where you're going, no matter how little time you're going to be in the sun, put on sunscreen. For the love of God, put on sunscreen. This will save you so much pain, so much annoyance later in life. Just sunscreen it up. If, um, if you have sensitive skin and you don't want to put a regular sunscreen on your face, you can either get a facial sunscreen or just use a foundation or BB cream or something with sunscreen in it. It's just, it's good. It's going to avoid sunspots. It's going to avoid cancer. It's going to avoid burning and peeling and not being able to wear makeup for a while. Just do yourself a favor and put sunscreen on, guys. So, my next product. I am very fair. And if I'm spending more than like 30 minutes in the sun, no matter how much sunscreen I put on, I usually end up burning. It's just a fact of my life. So during the summer, I always keep a bottle of aloe gel on hand. I just I have to have it. It just it saves so much pain. A few weeks ago, my husband went out and he spent all day in the sun, did not put on sunscreen. He did not follow my rule. <laughs> Came home, was red as a lobster from head to toe. I put this stuff on him that night and 
like the next day, he had zero pain. He was not uncomfortable. He he wasn't feeling like that heat sensation when you get a really bad burn. This just took all of it away. So if you're gonna go out in the sun and you know that you burn a lot or if you don't want to put on sunscreen because you're crazy, keep aloe on hand because it will save your life, I promise. So the next product goes hand in hand with all of this. I do not tan easily. I usually end up burning. The only reason I have even a semi tan at the moment is because I walk my dog every day and that 30 minutes in the sun every single day just like slowly built up a tan on like random chunks of my body like my arms, the tops of my feet, the bottom, the bottom <coughs> half of my legs. Excuse me. The bottom half of my legs, but it rolls. I got like no tan. <coughs> So to even random chunks of tan out and just kind of help in general, so I don't have to feel like I need to lay out and risk getting burnt, I use this Holy Grail product. This is the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer, and I have mine in fair to medium because I don't want to get super tan. I just want to build up a little bit of color, you know? This stuff... This stuff is amazing. It's it's a gradual self tanning moisturizer, but at the same time, it's like nothing like a self tanner. After like a week of using this, you're gonna see a nice buildup of just like a really subtle natural glow. That's why they call it natural glow because it's a natural tan that builds up over like a week or so, and it just looks so good. Now, I do notice a little bit of a stench in this moisturizer, but for the most part, it smells just like a normal um, body lotion. So, I, I don't know what self-tanner smells like. I've never used it, so I don't know if it, that's what it smells like. But if you're sensitive to smells, you probably won't like this because it, it does have a pretty uh, gnarly stench to it. Okay, so for my next products... I, two, in general. Um, I don't know about y'all, but during the summer, I just can't handle having my feet enclosed in something. It just drives me crazy. I like to let my feet, I like to let my feet breathe and chill and look cute at the same time. So, my next absolute summer necessity is to have super cute shoes that also let my feet breathe. So I have two options here, one of which I just got last week, so you can actually still go get them, and the other pair is more like a idea suggestion, because you probably won't be able to find these anymore, but, so these are these super freaking cute sandals, so you have the bar here with like this little Aztec print, and then you have this that like comes up and like wraps around your ankle like this. And then you have these cute little feather charms back here. These are so freaking cute. And they're like totally flat. There's like no heel. These are from the brand Indigo Road. They're all tan leather. And they're so freaking comfortable. I got these from DSW just last week. If you want them, go grab them. Because they're adorable. They're comfortable. They're amazing. These shoes are amazing. If you're into this type of like boho cute summer style you definitely need them because I'm obsessed with them and then the next pair of shoes I got these last year so you probably won't be able to find them in general but the style is still very much popular so oh, are these not the cutest things you've ever seen these are super tall wedges with a bow, floral pin, wrap of the ankle. Oh my god. These are the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. These are from the brand Ziggy Soho. 
I don't know. I'll have it down in the description box. Um, but these things are the cutest things. And yes, this is like the biggest wedge that exists. But they're so super comfortable. So I don't know how they did that. But these things just like, these shoes have my heart. I'm obsessed. So for my next product, we all know that wearing jeans during summer is just a terrible idea. And it just it makes you regret your all of your life decisions by the end of the day. So you gotta go with shorts. But I know personally, my thighs touch. My thighs touch a lot. So I get chub rub. And I hate chub rub. So I do not wear booty shorts if I know that I'm gonna be out of the house for more than like an hour at a time. So instead, I get shorts that are a little bit longer that go down like mid thigh so that I can actually wear shorts out and about for longer periods of time and not hate myself. So I have two options. This first pair, actually both of these, if you watched my tour at haul, which you should go watch, um, you will have seen both of these, but I'm going to show them to you anyways, just in case you don't feel like watching that tour at all, which I don't know why you wouldn't, because it's a great video, but whatever. So these are from Air Postal. These are the midi style, and they're distressed, they're great blue jean shorts, they're a little bit longer. These hit me right at like a true mid-thigh uh, section. These are fantastic. They got a good amount of stretch to them, but not too much so that you're still kind of held in and you're still smoothed out and all that. Because I don't like when shorts and jeans have like a whole lot of stretch and they just conform to every bump in your body. That just drives me crazy. Like, why would you want that? And then the next pair is actually from Tord. And those are a little bit longer. They're still distressed, but they hit me more of like four or five inches above my knee. Um, so if... You know, you want to be a little bit more covered, a little bit more modest, but you don't want to go the full Bermuda short route, because I don't like Bermuda shorts. They don't look good. I hate my knees, so. So, these are a fantastic option. Um, I get everything in Torrid in a size 10, and then the Aeropostal shorts I got in... A size 12 so so I have two more products to show you one of which is this beauty right here this is my uh, Yeti cup it's the big stainless steel tumbler type thing it normally has a top I just can't really find it at the moment <sighs> I love this thing this thing is amazing it comes with me everywhere I hate when I you know go to the beach or go wherever and I take a water bottle with me or um, something else to drink and it's like warm like an hour later it just it drives me crazy so I take this instead because this literally will keep whatever you put in here cold forever me and my husband went to the aquarium a couple weeks back and we took this and we put ice water in it when we got there we left it in the car, and when we came back out, I shit you not, the water in here was still freezing cold. Even though this was, like, so hot you could barely touch it, the water inside was freezing cold. I, I, it's crazy to me. I'm, I'm obsessed, and I want, like, 12 of them, so I never have to be without them while I'm washing them. And then my last product is this bag. So this is just like a purple drawstring bag and it is drawstring. The straps are the strings which I like a lot better than like something separate. Um, I, I'm obsessed with this bag. This bag is going to go with me everywhere that we travel this summer. Um, I bought this specifically for when we went to North Carolina last month and because we were going to um, a three-day concert event there, and I wanted something that I could put all my stuff in that was going to, like, stay closed because the straps 
part of the drawstrings. And this is actually waterproof. So that was a great option because it rained pretty much every day that we were there. And this is actually going to go with us to Disney as well because it's going to be perfect for Disney. But this is fantastic. It's got pockets on the front. It's got a wide space inside of it. And it's got pockets on the inside. Plus, this thing is so travel friendly because it folds up into itself, into this perfect little travel friendly pouch with a zipper. So you can just throw this into your suitcase. Once you get wherever you're going, pop it out, unzip it, and you got yourself a bag that took up literally no space. This thing is amazing. It's perfect. I found it on Amazon for like 14 bucks. It's literally my favorite purchase of the summer, honestly. It's just, it's going to go everywhere with me. So I hope you guys like this video. I actually had a lot of fun thinking about these products and figuring out like the true products that I use on a daily basis. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe before you leave and, and let me know in the comments what y'all's summer necessities are because I'd love to find some new ones. I will have everything linked in the description bar in case you want to find some of these for yourself. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.